Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we will be solving another Physics 7C practice problem on diverging and converging light called Light in the Eyes. Remember if you find this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel and leave a like. Your support helps a lot and we really appreciate the feedback. Make sure you pause the video and copy down the problem so that you can follow along. Everyone knows that opening one's eyes underwater results in blurred vision. In this problem, we will examine why this happens. In the following diagrams, the cornea of an eye is represented by a curved surface. In the top diagram, the incoming light ray is in air and is horizontal. The dotted line is perpendicular to the curved surface and makes an angle of 40 degrees with the horizontal axis. What we want to do is sketch the path ray after it enters the cornea, calculate the angle the ray inside the cornea makes with the dotted line, and use parts A and B to explain why vision is blurred underwater. Okay, so here's the picture of the problem. There's a couple things we want to take note of. First, what do we expect to happen in each of these cases? And what would we want to happen for us to see an image better? So if we imagine something like a magnifying glass or a telescope, um, what we want to do is we want to make the light converge to a point. And that point is where our light gets the actual real photons from the light ray and focuses them. So whichever one of these focuses the light better uh, is, and when I mean focuses, I mean converges the light onto a single point better, is the one that is gonna give us a clearer picture. If we look at the two, let's recall Snell's law, N1 sine theta one equals N2 sine theta two. We're given the ends of air and water, and we're given the ends of the cornea. So for here, n of air is 1. We have sine theta 1, which is this angle right here. This is theta 1. This is also theta 1. Okay? And then, so we have sine of theta 1 equals, this is 1.33 sine of theta 1 equals. Now we have here some angle where it bends, where this is theta two, and this is also, we'll call this theta two. Okay, so this is 1.38, this is 1.38, this is sine of theta 2, and this is sine of theta 2. Okay, so looking at these two, which one do we expect to bend more to focus at the point? So I'm going to guess, and we'll do the calculation next to see if I'm right, I'm going to guess that this one is going to have a smaller theta so that it'll converge closer to the point we want, right? So I'm guessing that the water is going to make the light not bend as much and the reason that is is because I know according to the question and from experience when you're looking underwater your vision is blurred. This case up here the vision is going to be a lot less blurry than down here because this is water and this is air. So I want the light to converge more into a single point so I think it's going to bend less here. So if we work out the math for both cases here's air what I get is theta 2 equals the inverse sine of 1 divided by 1.38 sine of 40. So theta 1 is 40 degrees because our angle here is 40 degrees. So they're similar triangles. If this is 40 degrees, it's just like moving the triangle up here. Theta 1 is 40 degrees. So it's just like taking this triangle and moving it here because these two lines are parallel to each other. Okay, same here, theta one is 40 degrees. So for water, we get an equation of theta two equals the inverse sine of 1.33 over 1.38 sine of 40. So if I plug these into a calculator, Theta 2 for air is about 28 degrees, 
and theta 2 for water, H2O, is about 38 degrees. Okay, so what does that mean? That means the angle from this perpendicular to the surface line, or normal to the surface line, theta 2 is 28 degrees away. And theta 2 for water is 38 degrees away. So my guess that the angle for air into the cornea would be lower than the angle from water to the cornea was right. It turns out from using Snell's Law, our angle is actually 10 degrees um, smaller for air to the cornea. So part C is use these parts to explain why vision is blurred into water. So blurred just means we're not focused and using the reasoning we used for part A, um, our eye wants to focus this light to create a real image with the photons in the back of the cornea um, or on the retina if you prefer. So our retina is located a little bit back into the eye and we want our cornea to reflect that light into the retina. So the more we can make that light precise onto our retina, the better that uh, image is going to be. And so that's what we want to do. So looking at these two, um, we have much better vision in the in air because of this um, theta two, and that's due to the index of refraction um, of n equals one versus n equals one point three three. So you see that the closer that the two indexes of refraction are. Um, the bigger the angle for these two. Okay, that is the problem. Um, if this video was helpful, please leave a like and please subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. And I will do my best to get back to them. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.